all right boys check this f450 out platinum edition 2017 look at our rig look at our setup boys we got the big text trailer super good we got the mega ramps on the back so we're able to to get it, it they are mega ramps also okay i was right so there is we have this is our setup today we're gonna have the f450 in the big text i got the gooseneck because you know why not it's way better i could have done bumper but we got the goose too so very cool stuff and actually when i this this truck when i when i bought it it says it says that it's an f350 the modern must have messed up or something it was kind of weird it's right here See, it says F350. I don't know. Anyway, it's an F450, and it looks really good. I got it in all red. It's a power stroke, boys. 6.7 liter, and uh, duals on her as well. It looks really nice. Let's check out the interior real quick. I haven't... I don't think I've shown off this mod. I know a lot of people... I mean, some people like do not like Ford, so sorry. There isn't going to be... Uh, there might be a sh wait. There's gonna there is not gonna be a Chevy in this video. There won't be. There will be a Dodge though. So super good interior. You can actually so the dash right there is the the like if you ever driven in one of the new Fords, it's the PSI pressure for the tires right there. The gauges, the gauges. Okay, the gauges do work. Okay, there it is. Um, steering wheel works kind of cool. Uh, a little. It's a little like. When it, when it turns obviously it's not perfect but you know it that's so hard to make and interior looks beautiful very nice doors are actually pretty good too a little weird on the colors but other than that i'm loving the truck let's go ahead jump out here and what we're what we're doing today i i guess you can tell by the title and thumbnail but today we are camping i i hadn't even mentioned it today we're going to meet the squad up at our at our famous cabin now it is a trip and it's a very scary trip i believe this squad text me i believe he's already there he kind of beat me up there so we're gonna go meet him he's already at our log cabin now what i'm gonna do i'm bringing up my brand new can am four by four can am thank you to artist mods for this bad boy there we go wait i like that so we can take this thing underwater and all that because we got the the snorkel there all right we're gonna go ahead and flip up the ramp and then we're gonna go okay so i didn't mention this either we are going to pick up here i'll show you where it's at we're right here at the sawmill kind of the shop here and we got to go all the way down this road to this shop all the way over here and i have an exciting prize that i am going to show the squad so the squad has like a four by four really nice players razor and four seater so i'm going to show i i don't know if this is better than it it is pretty cool i'm trying to match him so you you guys will see what he has and i will show you what we have and it's kind of to match him. we're going to race through the woods and all that stuff and go camping i think he's there at least he showed me a, he sent me a picture of his of his setup so hopefully he'll be down for that so we're going to drive over and yeah I, I, let me know what you think of the setup i i like the f450 obviously whether you like ford chevy or not just i mean obviously everybody's biased but it's uh i like the i really like the setup the text trailer the most is oh my goodness these things are awesome i love seeing them in real life and then i'm like oh wait i have that mod so back off oh i love it look at the mud flaps that is good that is really good so let's go in case somebody's in case somebody's um tailing me like riding behind me really really close like bad drivers do that i'll have those mud flaps to remind them to back off super good so we're gonna head down here oh i do have a i do have a transfer tank in the back i guess i don't know if it's transfer or, or auxiliary but pretty nice tank in the back there let's go ahead and pull around there we are so far i mean this is a there are other really well done mods like rs's chevy and stuff but this is i would say this is my favorite ford so far in the game and then rs's chevy is is my favorite chevy and then the and then my favorite ram is the new 1500 that came out that i have on the let's let's farm series so wow look at this this map i guess i didn't mention what map we're on a lot of people probably don't know this is the grizzly mountain map now it's it's a pretty good logging map we actually haven't even done that much logging since the game has came out but it's got a very very interesting layout and i really like the water back there it looks like it's just about to flood but it's got marshes it's got a lake it's got everything it's got every and then it has mountains as well okay we need to slow down all right so here we go we are pulling in now you can see it from here check this out boys check this out a six by six mahindra boys check that out oh my goodness i guess i guess uh here let me show you real quick so this is a mod it, it replicates the mahindra the dlc that came out 
earlier and it is look it's got four tires on each eight tires in the back two in the front total of 10 tires it's a beast it looks so good i guess it's not it's not a six by six what would you call this a five by five five by five four by four whatever you want to call it and uh yeah so there we are so what the move is here is this gonna is we're gonna show up the squad now squad has a player's ranger wow those mountains look really cool and uh so we're gonna take this up there and i'm like squad i told him i got a new toy i did tell him i got a new toy so it's the mahindra 1000 retriever looks super good i got it in all black it is used it's got a few scratches on her but pretty pretty cool stuff it's not gonna be as fast as his players but it's more for utility and i think it looks really cool i love having the extra tires on there and the elongated the elongated trailer so let's go ahead i need to i kind of parked weird so let's go ahead and unfold the ramps again we'll get the mahindra up on the big old text if she could fit so we have to so let's go ahead and jump in here we're gonna load her up and one thing i did notice i think i need to Okay, so the end here isn't actually like touching the ground. So I think what I can do is I can raise. Yo, let's look real quick. Oh, I can fill up the truck too. There we go. We filled it up. So I can lift the the or like the front tool. All right. So I lifted it up. Here, I gotta jump out. Okay, now it's much more realistic. So now now it's on the ground. So all I did was raise the the gooseneck attachment there. Raise it up, and now the back is closer to the ground. Now I can load up, boys. What do you think of the Mahindra? Let me know in the comment section. I think it's I think it's pretty cool. I I was like, you know, it's pretty hard to to make the Mahindra to customize it. And I was like, just early in the game, I was like, what are people gonna do to this? Like, I know they're gonna modify it and stuff, but I didn't even think about elongating the the back here and then putting on, you know, and way more tires. It I think it looks amazing. There's that here. Let me show you this real quick. I think this looks terrible. You have to have the uh the 10 tires on there here let's look so okay yeah so the retriever 1000 long box that's what they called it so this right here in my opinion looks absolutely terrible it almost looks like i don't know if somebody's like 10 feet tall like they're too stretched out i don't it just looks really weird and then look at this duels in the back i mean, that's a little better you just gotta go you gotta do i guess they're calling it the six wheeler you, you gotta go with the six wheeler so that looks really good. That looks way better than two. <laughs> Just standard. Oh my goodness, that looks so bad. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're heading out. Now, yeah, this climb's going to be pretty crazy. And so we just got to see if the F450 can handle it. Now, if you watch, we've camped here before. We actually, like, built the log cabin here. And we're just going back to it. And then we're going to meet the squad there. We got to get firewood and all that good stuff. Set up a campfire. I mean, we had we have a house, but we always like to set, have a bonfire going in the back outside. So, one of the things that we do to get there, it's like extremely hard. We're gonna be on a cliff. We're gonna have to go over like this really like this bridge right here is paradise. We're gonna go over a bridge like half this size. There's not even just like two logs. It, it's so sketch. We're uh, to the left of us is gonna be like a hundred foot cliff drop off. Crazy, not good. And uh, like those billy goats couldn't even stand on it. Those mountain goats. You see those pictures of goats like stayed on the side of a cliff. They won't even be able to handle this stuff. It is so steep. So we're going to go head over here and uh, we're going to kind of pick things up. It's it's a decently, decently long drive. So we got to go all the way. Yeah, here, look at right, this, this piece right here, that piece right there. It's kind of this this map kind of shows you like what's steep, what's not by the gray areas. And the road gets so skinny like you'd see it like shrivel up that is that it doesn't look good but let me know what you guys think of the setup the map in general in the video i would really appreciate it if you smash the like button i like to always do you know weekend camping videos are typically my favorite to do and stuff so i think they're pretty fun you guys seem to always like them and let me know what you think of the old mahindra all right guys so we're gonna we're starting to kind of get into the more rocky areas and it's pretty cool how we don't actually like we don't really see the mountain until we get up close. I, I really do like that, how it, it kind of, I, I believe that, I believe that is the, the top of the mountain, but we couldn't see it earlier, or no. No, wait, that's the top of the mountain, okay. Yeah, that is, wait, yes, it's to our right. That is the mountain. This map is super big, guys. We, we just went straight there for a long time. This map is pretty large. At least it feels large, and, uh, yeah, it looks really good. It looks like we're going to turn into... Yep, here it comes. We're going to go into dirt. Let's make sure that we... I'm pretty sure there's a turn right up here. 
yes we have to take a right and here it is guys the only way or there might be another no this is the only way up to this mountain pretty crazy stuff it's only gonna get yeah you can see just up there what if there was snow on the ground we were slipping sliding oh my goodness it's nice that our load is pretty small obviously the trailer is super heavy itself it's meant for very large equipment i actually our trailer is kind of overpowered for for what we're hauling with our setup we don't really need the big techs but we have it obviously you know if why not use the trailer it looks awesome and it works all right so it's gonna be it's gonna there's like five turns like this and it gets way harder way steeper let's see if the f450 can handle it come on baby we got the sunroof so we can see inside there all right she's doing good she's sounding good there we go this is the fun part you know camping sometimes whenever you go i don't say camping is like a vacation sometimes it might be especially when we're on the log log cabin but sometimes it's, it's the adventure it's the getting there that is better than the final destination so here it is here is the sketchiest part of the whole entire trip right here this is by far my biggest fear oh my goodness in real life if i was this, i would never do this in real life okay let's go ahead look here all right i want how was that tree growing oh no what was that all right there's like a weird dip and how are these trees growing you're on like the side of the hill what is this all right we gotta go straight here speed just accelerate through it the dooleys one of the tires are like hanging off come on come on come on come on come on go 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 we're popping a wheelie okay we made it still guys to our left there oh my god let's just stop and appreciate what we just did I probably shouldn't be walking around here. Oh my, what? Why are there like 50 bales down there? What is that? And then if we, oh my goodness, this would actually be a pretty cool place to like parachute off of. But just look around guys, really awesome map. Grizzly Mountain once again, really, really cool map. We should, it's not the best logging map, but it's pretty realistic logging map, you know? Usually you're gonna have some extreme terrain stuff whenever you go logging. You don't just want a flat piece of land so perfect here we go we are heading up the way it is still not going to be any easier until we get up here a ways still multiple turns pretty steep cliffs the trail seems to be a little better okay we almost actually went off there because we we needed to swing wide it was pretty tight turn but we had nowhere to swing we would have like hit the wall there so that was kind of hard all right i think we're about here just a little more actually can't remember i haven't been up here in a while yeah just a little more i think we're kind of on the home stretch yeah yeah we are it's still gonna be a climb but fairly safe compared to what we just went through i know like the first half of this video has been like all driving but that's kind of yeah like i said like that's the fun part about it and who like this is the most insane i i haven't found like you could make i actually want to make like a really cool hill climb sometime uh like make my own mountain almost and like see like what trucks and hill climb and stuff but that i don't think you can get much crazier than that like that even if you were to create it that is about as crazy as it gets so the mahindra there is ready to be unloaded so here's squads here she is here's the players and uh yeah that's kind of why i brought the mahindra kind of something to to match it and so here we are we're in the mahindra go ahead lower lower her back yeah there's a little lip there but that's kind of it was uneven ground when we unloaded all right, so here we go, boys. Here's the Mahindra. It seems a little slower than than like the normal, the, the not modded one, but still pretty cool. All right, and then the Can-Am, boys. Very cool, very cool. There we go. Back her off. She's she's not the quickest, but it's a four-wheeler at, at the least, and that is very important. FS19 didn't have four-wheeler. I'm pretty sure this is the only public one, I believe. It's pretty cool, though. Very cool. And then here's the squad setup, I actually... I don't know where he's at. I, I think he said he brought a buddy with him, and I don't see that truck. They drove up separately. They might have drove down for groceries or something. That's weird. Okay, well, what we got to do, I know he said get firewood right when we get here because the sun kind of is going down. And so what we got to do, we brought the tool for it. Again, this squad hasn't seen this thing. We haven't showed anybody. We just picked it up. Uh, you guys are the first to see it. So we got to go find a down lot here. Let me actually figure out where... I mean, we're on a mountain. We're on a mountain top. I guess there's the shop. So when we first took off, there's the shop. There's the lake, the water. Okay, do not go over here. That's that's the first first things first. Don't go that way. And I at least we'll never be like 
if it rained a bunch, the house would like never flood. We're, like on top of a mountain, there's a, all the water is just gonna run down, which is kind of cool to think about. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find a down log. If not, I brought my axe, got a chainsaw, and we're gonna get right to. I guess I don't really need an axe. I get. Well, we do. We need an axe to split the wood. Nobody really splits wood with a chainsaw. I, I don't even think that's not safe. That's probably not safe to split wood with a chainsaw. Unless, like, obviously you're going to take the whole cut and throw it into the fire. But, okay, we're looking around for a dead log. Super important. I don't I don't want to cut down a, you know, an, a, an alive one. But I guess, I guess we never saw one driving up. I should probably get off the main road here and see if I can find one I doubt there is I just want a medium-sized tree oh what was that oh okay so here's a dead piece of wood um it's not bad it, it looks like rotten obviously whenever you find a down tree it looks yeah they look they look kind of rotten and it's not good. Like, I, I want, like, a full tree. A healthy tree that just kind of got blown over by the wind. But this forest looks super healthy. I think what I gotta do... I gotta take one down, boys. I gotta take one down. S say a prayer to the tree gods. I'm sorry for this, Mother Nature. Alright, boys. Here she is. Alright, let's find... Let's find a decently small one. I feel like this is a good one right here. Uh, that's long, short, medium. What was that? It's like a... Like a wolf or something. That coyote. Alright, that's way too small. We're gonna need some... A little bigger again this is gonna be kind of today's chore so we're gonna pretty much use all the wood and I'll always be able to come back to it too so no worries on on that let's go ahead and run down her take off the old branches here my favorite part the most satisfying part in my opinion whenever you ch cut cut down a tree in FS here we go steel is the brand of name the brand of choice the way to go making cuts here i feel like they're a little too big again we're splitting this wood so we got to make sure that it's not too long not too short but just right so it fits in our fireplace and all the good stuff that comes along with her Ooh, that one's pretty big no come back all right that about i don't know why i did that so let's keep running through quick little zippy zip zip there we go one of my favorite things about fs19 i i love i love when we do like logging and stuff one of the favorite things, I guess this was outside of game, but is the carry anything mod. And then whenever you use a chainsaw, it cuts through way quicker than the old game. The old game, it was so slow. It wasn't very good action, and it just... It, it was, like, so annoying to cut things in the game. So it's nice that now uh, Giants kind of address that. So that's pretty cool stuff there. It's very nice of them. All right, where's my Mahindra? I kind of jumped out. Where did I leave it? There we go. Bring her on over. Come on, baby, climb, climb. So, the yeah, we have the, the elongated trailer here, which is going to work out really good. Like I said, the sun is kind of kind of going down here. It is later in the day. So we do have to bring it. Hopefully, the squad's back by now. I hope he is. If not, I'm sure he will be shortly after. All right, boys, this is going to be this is gonna be a lot of wood. Should, I'm trying to debate which way. I guess my cuts are just about the width of... Our, our trailer here so there's really no point in throwing them the other way i feel like it would just like waste space super important let's kind of wiggle them around here um it's good there decent decent there we go all right we're gonna pile these up it's gonna make like an awesome pyramid we'll strap them down hopefully the straps work good i know they go kind of with them so it's not the best but we'll have to make do with what okay that is Cause that sounds like there's like a dog like right over here that you hear him barking. I like I we don't have a dog at the log house. We we rarely come here, so obviously we can't have a dog. Maybe the squad brought one with him. I guess we aren't that far away, but I doubt he would let him run in a forest that the dog's never been in. All right, so let's keep going here. Again, we're gonna try and use all of the tree. This is awesome. This is so cool. There we go. Oh, you can see you can see the core of the tree too. I like that. You can see the, you can't really see the rings, but, oh, you can. Yeah, you can see, you can see a bunch of rings. Pretty old tree. All right, there we go. But it was, it was fairly small. It's, I guess it's a different, 
tree type. All right, so a few last little cuts. Is this thing all? Nope. Just a little long one right here. There we go. I think we're good to go. This one, we'll give it to the squirrels. They can make a little house out of it. One, two, and three. They, okay, so they gave us three straps. Very cool. All right, so we are good to go. Oh, my God. It looks so cool. Here, let's make sure. I feel like something's going to fly out. Okay, where? Let's pull up GPS. We need to make sure that we're going to make it back alive. So I just got to throw a 180. We're going in the opposite direction. I guess, yeah, we kind of, we were down, we were on a downhill grade when we were leaving, so we need to kind of go back uphill. Okay, yeah, the sun is kind of going down. All right, boys, the six, six-wheeler here. Oh, my goodness, somebody needs to make the Gator a six-wheeler, because those are, like, actually, you know, they produce quite a few of those, and, and you see them, you know, kind of at auctions or on Craigslist or online. You, you do see six-wheelers. I feel like, I feel like somebody should make it. There is a Mahindra one now, I guess. Um. And hopefully this video inspires somebody who can mod to do that. Or at least something along those lines. Yeah, that would be cool. Six, a six-wheeler for a gator? That would be awesome. So let's go ahead head back. We got to set up the fire. We got to get inside the log cabin. And, uh, yeah, our camping setup is... Oh, we just went on two wheels. Oh, my goodness. That was I, way more than two wheels. We just went on, like, three to, three to five wheels. So let's go ahead. I know... Here, let's see where he wants it. Looks like they still aren't back. This is really weird. Where do they want it? Let's uh, let's just maybe put it up front. I guess we have a pretty nice porch. Porch. I almost said porch. And uh, yeah, let's see. This is probably where we had it last time here. So let's just, I guess, maybe keep it here. We'll quickly make a fire. The sun is going down. And I think that's going to wrap up today's episode, guys. Hope you did enjoy. We just got back. To enjoy some camping. To get inside the house. Yeah, the squad's not back to rip his Polaris. That would have been pretty cool. So thank you all so much for watching. Peace out. I will see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more content. Peace.